beginner's guide to guitar effects pedals. If you've just started playing guitar, you might be confused by all of the different terminologies and all of the different types of effects you can get from distortions, delays, modulations, reverbs, etc. etc. Hopefully this video will give you a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more understanding of what all these things are. The idea of this video is not to explain the ins and outs and how each pedal works, that's not my bag. This is my bag, it's nice isn't it? It's green and that. The main purpose of this video is just to show you what the main types of effects pedals do, how they sound and what different options you've got. So I'm not going to show you every single type of effect pedal because there are literally hundreds and I'm not going to show you every brand and every type of type, so for example every type of overdrive and every type of delay because there are literally hundreds. So let's just get on with it and look at some pedals. So the two most common types of effect are single effects, also known as stomp boxes, because you stomp on them, and that will just be one pedal that does one thing. So for example, that pedal is just an overdrive pedal. The other type of effect that's really common is what's called a multiple effect pedal, or multi-effects. For example, the big black one there with the M5 on, that has lots of different effects built in, so you can change between different effects. So you can use these in combination with each other, so you can have a multiple effects and single stomp boxes on the same pedal board, or you can just run with single stomp boxes or just use multiple effects. It's entirely up to you, whatever you prefer. The most common approach when using effects is to put them onto a single pedal board, so you can pick it up and take it around with you and you don't have to carry them around individually. So your guitar would plug into one side, the amp would come out of the other side, and then they're linked up with these cable ties. And these bits here are a power supply which powers all of the effects at the same time, so you don't have to run individual batteries or indiv individual power supplies. So now let's take a look at each different type of effect that I've got here and show you what they do. So one of the most important pedals, even though it doesn't add an effect to your sound, is a tuner pedal. This will help you see when your guitar is out of tune, which is obviously very important to be in tune. So first of all we have distortion. A distortion will give you a really good heavy sound. So I'll first we'll play the normal sound and then I'll play the, the distorted sound. Then we have overdrive, and overdrive is a mild version of a distortion. Thank you. 
Then we have a tremolo. A tremolo will give you a pulsing type sound, so the volume will go up and down in time. Next we have a phaser. A phaser is really good for swirly type sounds and funk. So I'm using my multi effects, my Line 6 M5, to show you the reverb. So if reverb will make you sound like you're playing in a big room or a hall or a cave. Next we have delay, so delay will repeat whatever you play and you can change the speed and how loud the repeats are. So this particular delay has a tap tempo function, so here it is without. By combining reverb and delay, you can get some really cool spacey sounds.
looper pedals. So a looper pedal is used to record a small piece of music, or a short piece of music, should I say, and then you can use it as a practice tool, for example. Pitch altering pedals. So pitch altering pedals like this one are used to change the pitch of what you're playing on the guitar. Then we have pedals like this one, the noise suppressor, which is there to, funnily enough, suppress noise. So when you're playing with distortion pedals, they can add some noise. And these help reduce and get rid of that noise. Then we have the famous wah-wah pedal. can of course combine multiple pedals at the same time 